Yeah, my fellow Cameroonians and my true salute for all now, both internal and external, those in the country and those out of the country, those fighting the strike and those that are fighting the strike in another way. All your supports are being appreciated by us from the southern regions. And I want to say, though it's very hard for us to, to achieve these struggles, but I know we are going to achieve it this time around. So many times we struggle to seize our independence, but uh, at the end of the day, we find ourselves not achieving because we did not stay together like this time. So I pray God that we stick together and we fight these people. Nothing good can all ever come easy. I was so I was so shocked this this morning when I saw the news about Julius that was killed in Bamenda. This was just a student. For God's sake, he's just a student. So how can our own military people that are supposed to protect the lives of citizens shoot at citizens like that? It's so embarrassing and it's so shocking. I never wanted to make a video, but I, I, saw, the, I saw that video. It was so heartbreaking. What is Cameroon turning into? What is our own military people turning into? That is why you don't need a certificate to even go into the militaries because all of them are just fools. They are just fools. And even if they fight against us or they fight with us or whatever they want to do, let them just keep fighting like that. Let them fight against us. But what I know is that we are going to have this freedom and once this freedom is granted to us, we are going to deport all of them. We'll deport all of them. So let them keep fighting a loose battle. But I know for sure that Ambazonia is going to stand because we are Ambazonians. So we are going to seize that freedom. Enough is enough. And those of you saying that... Uh, uh, those outside the country are not doing efforts, are not doing that. They need to come back home and fight. No, it's not like that. We fight. We fight in our own way, just that you can't understand. The videos we share, the messages we share is going a long way to reach out the world. You know, not everybody can be a fighter at the war front. You have other people that work in the technical departments and you have other people that work at the, 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 the war line. So everybody is participating. So we are doing it. And I believe we are going to stand because they say one for all, all for one. We are not going to back down. This time we are going to have that freedom. Even if they send the military troops from wherever, wherever and all around the borders of Cameroon to come and stop this. This is not going to stop this time because we are Ambazonia and enough is enough. We say no to Bia. Bia is not a good president. Paul Bia is not a good president because he doesn't even care about his citizens. If he can send military troops to kill us, that means he is not a good president. Paul Bia is not a good president. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, we want to inform you that this is your last time. And if you don't back down, you are going to be dragged like Muhammad Gaddafi. So if you have ears, you should hear what the youths are saying. Enough is enough. Bia, please back down. We want our freedom. It's aching. We go to school after graduation, no jobs. We end up at a car box, truck pushers. We do that. But your Francophone people, they, go to, they don't even go to school. They have all the positions in, in Cameroon. And they run us as if we are slaves. That was our country. Cameroon was our country. But now it's not our country. 
we need our peace so be a back down with your illiterate militants uh, military troops we don't need them we don't need your illiterate troops be a back down enough is enough long live ambazonia republic long live ambazonia we are one one for all and all for one we are going to fight it till the end appreciate this video and make sure this video gets to be a let him back down enough is enough